What's the story? So gang, have some more questions to answer from the good folks across on Instagram who submitted questions very, very kindly to me in one of those question boxes I posted on my story. So if you do see one go up, I actually did post one very recently. Hopefully you have submitted some questions or if you missed your chance, slide on into those DMs and let's have a conversation. Let's get some good topics going. I'm sure you guys have some questions you might be a little bit afraid to ask and that's okay. Don't be afraid, ask them, it's grand. I want to answer the questions that are the most interesting, the most outrageous, anything you have to ask that is related to fitness, training, mindset, lifestyle, or maybe even some that aren't, maybe some outrageous thing that I think will be so entertaining, I'll answer it anyway. Yeah, let's get that going, all right? So you see one of those question boxes go up, I want you to send those questions in. All right, so to today's topic, occlusion training. What is it? Should I do it? Does it make you stronger? Does it grow you more muscle? When, where, how, why? So occlusion training, for those that may not be familiar with the term, is blood flow restriction training. So what that means is, you may have actually even seen it, guys come into the gym or they've got, sometimes people do it for the legs too, but you might see they've got like a band around their arms and their training arms, usually with a bit of a lighter load, higher volume, and you'll see like they're really struggling. So what this band is doing, it's cutting off blood flow and it can be a useful tool for muscle hypertrophy. You may actually also see people use it in rehabilitation. Some physios or manual therapists may employ it when working with an injured athlete or an injured person. So does occlusion training or blood flow restriction training do anything? Is it beneficial? Yes, it can be used for hypertrophy. It can be used for rehabilitation, especially in circumstances where if you're not working with a lot of weights or you don't have a lot of variation, let's say for your bicep training or your quad training, for example, and you, like let's say you don't have a lot of weights at home right now, for example, and you wanna do something else to elicit some kind of stimulus, sure, you could include some, some uh, resi blood flow resistance training, that's fine. Now, are there any cautionary points here? Yes. I would typically say maybe don't do this for any more than 15 to 20 minutes just because you are cutting off blood flow. Those studies do suggest that there's no inherent risk of doing blood flow restriction training. You can never know on an individual basis. So while I wouldn't use it as a barrier to prevent you from doing it, I would still maybe, you know, exercise caution as with everything. A reasonable degree of caution I think is fine. Though, as I said, evidence does not suggest that there's any actual inherent danger to using it. But there's also the question of the practicality of why. So other than having it as an alternative method or you enjoy doing it, there's no specific benefit to occlusion training that you won't get from straight up training for hypertrophy, you know? So it's another variable in the FIT modality, which is or the FIT acronym, uh, frequency, intensity, type, and time. So, you know, if you add in another day of uh, bicep curls of occlusion training, sure, you can up the frequency and you've got a different type of curl, and that's absolutely fine, especially if that is your goal. You're training for hypertrophy, you want to have bigger arms, you don't have a lot of load to work with, or, you know, maybe you want to go a little lighter, but you don't want to have to do, you know, 20, 30 reps to start to feel something, so you want to try on the bands. Yeah, it's all good, it's all fine. So it can be a useful tool, though I would not go out of my way to buy BFR bands. I don't think they're anything special. The evidence doesn't suggest that they're anything special or something that you need to particularly worry about. Now, there may be some bodybuilder type that comes along and sees this and maybe wants to dispute it, and that's fine. Please do, if you've got a point to make, or maybe there's some new evidence I've missed. By all means, enlighten me, send me the link, I'll have a read. But otherwise, from what I understand, to my under my learning and my experience, there's no specific benefit. So other than the fact that you may enjoy it, which is a perfectly valid reason to include something in a program, I don't really see the point. Unless you've got the bands in your house or you wanna order the bands because you'd enjoy using them and you're working with a very limited amount of load, then sure, try them in there. But beyond those reasons, there's no specific reason you should include blood flow restriction training or occlusion training into your program. Again, you can do whatever the hell you want. 
but practically speaking, no specific benefits. So that answers that one. Gang, as I mentioned at the top of the video, send me in those questions. You know where to go, you're gonna go on over to that Instagram page, you're gonna see one of those little boxes go up, you're gonna tap, you're gonna type it in there. If it's a long message, send it to me in DMs or you can clarify the message you put in the question box in the DMs. I'm out of here for today. Have a good one, team. Stay training, look after yourselves. Talk to you next one.